Well, hello, America. How can I offend you today with some truth? Got some of that. Day drinking some cold fucking beer. Tastes like <sighs> freedom. You know, uh, everybody's doing that homeschool thing, and uh, I, since I drink and I know stuff, I figured I was going to do it uh, too and help people out a little bit. Let's start with the first course. Obviously, uh, they don't teach this shit in school anymore. Biology, you know, we used to have to cut the frogs apart and whatnot. Uh, if Pepe has a pee-pee, he has a Y chromosome. If you cut off Pepe's pee-pee, he has a Y chromosome. It's fucking science. Everything else is just made up. And that's fiction. Good talk. Next slide. Whenever I was in school, we had to take computer fucking science. We just played Oregon Trail, really. <coughs> then we got Windows, and everybody's computer got AIDS from downloading <coughs> too many naughty <coughs> things. Hey, hush. So, you know, you got that one kid in class talking in the back, and maybe homeschool's not a bad idea. Because if you think about the average level of intelligence, Half y'all motherfuckers is dumb. Just fucking statistics and science and shit. But anyway, we got a computer and it got AIDS instantly and we needed a cure for it, right? And what's that got to do with abortions? Well, this feller is the son of the Planned Parenthood. And then he made all his money on this shit he stole and now everybody's got AIDS and vaccines and what shit Y2K he didn't think of oh he made a fuck ton of money on that too so if you take a vaccine from the guy who thinks that's just a sack of cells he gets to sell and he gave your computer AIDS if you want to take a vaccine from that fella I got a bridge in China I'll sell you oh man it's lunchtime you know, I remember whenever I was a kid, that was a hundred fucking years ago, my mama could make me a lunch, and it was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it was good. And, uh, you know, it, it didn't cost that much money. You had some white privilege, maybe you got uh, some fruit and some chips and cookies and whatnot. And then, guess what? Everybody's got a gluten allergy, everybody's got a peanut allergy. You can't even go in a school zone with a peanut without some Karen going crazy. <sighs> now... We're over here eating some shit from China because we all got allergies. And then we got some brown stuff from China we won't eat and some green stuff and yellow and whatnot. Maybe a cookie and some milk and nobody. Uh. Then we're all systems weak and we got the Kung Flu. The same people who make our drugs and our food. <laughs> Created this pandemic. <laughs> In a laboratory. Hey, do they invest in our schools too? That'd be interesting. They do. We spend a trillion dollars a year educating people in nonsense they don't need to know, like global warming and whatnot. Let me break that shit down like James Brown. Solar and wind are fucking nice fictional fantasies, but they're not sustainable without government subsidies. They only make energy 17% of the time. 17, I know. Solar and wind, 17% of the time. Well, I like electricity 100% of the time. So where are they gonna store it? Batteries made in? China, with ore they got from Africa. So they can get poor people to dig holes in the earth to make these fucking batteries that are gonna contaminate the earth. But look at the windmills, you're helping. And let's just break it down in basic economics, because I'm a pretty poor fella. 24 hours, it costs a dollar to, uh, to store a barrel of oil for 24 hours. To store the same amount of energy contained in one barrel of oil for 24 hours in the batteries, since we're gonna have to use the batteries, it costs $200. And who's gonna pay for that? Who's going to pay for that? You! <laughs> Good talk. Ah, it's almost like all this global warming advertising is just 
advertising because China's making coal factories and they own all the media and they're the ones telling us we need to change our whole system because they want their system to be more lucrative. But hey, let's just go back. Ah, man, my favorite class was history. Still is. And I've got the opportunity now to learn whatever I want. You know, I, uh, I joined the Army to, to get college. Someone told me I needed it. Uh, you know, 40% of people with a degree work in a different field, so maybe the degrees don't really mean as much as your work ethic and how you present yourself, but go ahead thinking you're discriminated against. That'll, that'll work out well. Uh, you know, it's, it's just always, history's always been interesting. You know, the, uh, the Roman, or, uh, the Roman Empire never really went away. Our last ruling empire in Russia, the Romanovs, they're a Christian family, uh, ruled for about 300 years. And then in the middle of World War One, Jacob Schiff, Adam's, uh, grandpa or some shit, Schiff, went over to Russia and told them, don't fight the Germans anymore. Why don't you guys go be communists? And he gave them $20 million. If you don't believe me, look it up yourself. Jacob Schiff, Russia, 1917, Red October. So Russia kills everyone that disagrees with them and they've become communist country. It's almost weird how Democrats call us deplorables in order to demonize us. But anyway, Russia, they're the enemy. Maybe they're a made-up enemy. You know, they were involved, just like China, with a lot of wars. They didn't have food to feed themselves. They didn't have money to feed themselves. And maybe somebody was slipping them some money so that they would fight us so that we could, you know, skim a little bit of money off the top. Anyway, that's just a conspiracy theory. But when they say conspiracy theory, they're just really trying to say you're barking at the truth. But in 1991... Russia, uh, the Soviet Union went away and they became Russia again. Russia and America, to break it down real simple, uh, Russia and America are both gas stations with nukes. Uh, the only difference, America has a McDonald's and that's why we make more money. Uh, and how did Russia get nukes? The Russia, uh, from the Rosenberg family. Uh, an American family gave them nukes. It's almost like they were a convenient enemy. And uh, you know, the whole time I was in the army, uh, when we fought against the Russians, the fake Russians, to go after them, they were uh, we were going after uranium mines. When uh, Barack Obama was a the president, did he sell them 20% of our uranium? Funny, that was such a strategic asset. Did Iran get any of it? Hmm. Wow. Kind of blows your hair back. Uh, did, did China give Joe Biden a billion and a half dollars? You know, and it's not just Democrats. Let's go to Republicans. When Medicare wanted to negotiate with drugs on the price of drugs, who stopped him? George Bush, because he was invested in pharmaceuticals. You know, China couldn't get a satellite to space until Clinton gave them second stage rocket separation technology. But you knew that, right? And you knew that Russia piggybacked off of NASA when they went broke. There's a whole lot of rabbit holes you can go down. We've kind of been sold out, and it's not just Democrats, and it's not just Republicans. It's the whole fucking system. It's kind of like our education system used to be able to teach people, you know, just based off of local uh, tax dollars. And then when they started increasing the budgets is where the shit went south. You don't need these administrators up in la-la land telling the people what to do. Our last bailout stimulus was $2.2 trillion and small businesses and people won't see any of that but people are learning how to fucking finger paint in Africa with some tax money and that's not curing the coronavirus as much as maybe hey how about we need to get in shape and uh, exercise and diet it's easy google some recipes uh, you got time on your hands and hey, if you think I'm full of shit, uh, fact check anything I just said, uh, but use more than one resource. You know, everything I learned in college I can Google, but I use DuckDuckGo because Google's made in China. And I don't really trust those people because population control, Bill Gates gave my computer aids and I'm not taking any more of his vaccines. Calm down. It's going to be all right. Turn off the news.
America.